been meaning to get out to the shed and plug this in for a while. I haven't actually uh, had this one running with its big battery pack, C6 volt battery pack, uh, off the AC yet. I've plugged in a stand old IEC cable. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to let that charge these up and um, once they're charged up and been sitting there like maintenance, maintenance charging for a while I might uh, give it a bit of a run time test and see how long we get out of it discharging. Probably needs a good blowout. Get rid of the stuff in it. This is the uh, rack mount 1500 uh, VA It's a thousand watt UPS. It has a uh, nine amp hour thirty six volt battery, connected by this big Anderson style flat spade blade connector. I'm just going to leave that plugged in for a while. And let that uh, let that sit there charged. And after uh, a couple of days, I'll come and measure the voltage of it sitting there static in with the battery pack and um, see if that voltage is suitable this big battery pack and if it is I'm gonna reconfigure this big battery pack into all of these batteries in series so then I'll have a 36 volt and instead of 9 amp hour I'll have 225 amp hour at 36 volt so I'll end up with a massive massive backup kind of power. And then what I reckon I'll do is have this just as an emergency backup when the power goes out or whatever. We're having some power dramas in Tasmania at the moment. We're actually running on gas and gas gas steam turbine and uh, diesel gen sets they brought down from the mainland of Australia because uh, the hydro storage is a uh, well, they're running out, to put it simply. Um, the storage is low, very low, and uh, it's not a real good situation. So, uh, using this as a backup might be a smart move. Uh, there's only like 9 kilowatt hours in storage down there. Um, not huge, I understand that. But, uh, if I run some 10 or 12 watt LED work lights off um, that massive great big pack to light the house and uh, a bit more powerful 240 volts out of this on the AC to um, you know, charge the laptop or run the modem or whatever I've got a 12 volt one inside I might use to run a modem um, just on a deep a big high quality car battery or a deep cycle battery Maybe even the 12.6 lithium 30 amp power battery I've got. Um, just to uh, be a UPS for the modem and the laptop, probably. Just in case. So I can keep posting videos and still do my shit online and not be paying for an internet connection and all those other things for no reason. But yeah, so in the next couple of days I'm going to probably use the vacuum cleaner with a soft brush on it to uh, clean the top of them off providing that the voltage of this is alright now I've got a uh, solar panel in feed there it goes to these and keeps them charged um, it's unregulated but it's only a 40 watt panel and these are oh yeah, 665 amp hour at 12 volts 660 sorry um, so yeah this UPS should uh, good for backup power. Failing that I do have a uh, HP one over there. But we'll roll with this one for now. We'll let it charge up and uh, stick the multimeter on it a bit later and see what kind of voltage they're up to. Thanks for watching.